Hello Squids, this is Squidva here with another Unity 3D tutorial, and in this Unity 3D this is the first Unity 3D tutorial of a new series I'm doing, a little mini-series, on how to make a puzzle game, like, um, Portal 2, or a puzzle game like that, because I recently got Portal 2, and I have ideas of how to make it, and I don't actually make games, so I thought I'd do this on YouTube anyways, let's get started. Um, and I, let's see, yes. So I think we want to start by creating a cube. We want to go to this, we want to look at this cube. Ooh, it's a pretty cube. Um, we want to size it a bit. Size it out. Because this, this is going to be the floor. Um, oh yeah, and in this mini series I'm going to have things like, you know, deadly goo, acidic goo, you know, stuff like that. Oh, no, 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 it's a bit short. We don't want this to be a huge level. We want it to be a mini little thing. And I think just as an Easter egg at the end, I'll put in a cake and have it so you die when you interact with it. Anyways, so once we've done this, we want to do this. Control D. The hotkey I used is Control D. I just duplicated it. Yep. There we go. Lag, 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 lag. Oh, the lag. The lag is substantial. Um. Here. Oh, that's very laggy as well. Go here and make that 1.5 as well. Um, I'm not actually going to add any textures to these until the end, but about that high. Hit Control D again. Do that. Um, 90. No. 90. So just um, move that over a bit, like that, control D again, move that, control D again, uh, rotate it 90 degrees, move that over, move that no. over here, uh, so it's like that, control D, and move it like that. There, so now if you look inside of it you have a nice little room and we should go ahead and go to game object create other um we want to put in an fps controller so we want to go to standard character fps unless it's third person but in this we're going to do fps Oh, yeah, I have this layout like this because the last thing I was doing was the horror game tutorials. Right, okay. So now when we play it... Everything just kind of looks boring and weird. But, yeah, okay. So I'll get that later when I put in textures. I think I'm just going to go get some textures from the web in a bit, get some free downloads. But now what we want to do is just to give it kind of a cool effect, we want to go to edit, we, no, edit, um, render settings, ambience, ambient light, turn down to about there. Right. So once we've done that, uh, hold on, okay, it's gone. Once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to do to game object, other, spotlight. Right. Just uh, drag that in. Great. Drag that up. Drag the top. Okay, and now we want the range. If we find the range, make that about 100. The wideness, what's the wideness? This bot angle. So now it gives it kind of this odd, you know, dark government, you know, interrogation room kind of feel. And we can change the ambience more to create different effects. But yeah, okay, there we go. So this gives it kind of a cool feel. Um a very cool, odd, eerie feel. Uh, let's just actually turn the intensity up quite a 
bit. Let's move this up a lot and change the spot range to about 30. And move the intensity down just a bit more. Um, good, yes. So now this looks more like a you know, sort of test chamber kind of thing. And then we will want to illuminate that later. Uh, Okay, we'll, we'll get that later. We'll get the ceiling later. But for now, this gives it a cool, cool, cool effect. Yeah, so we'll get, we'll get to the ceiling later. Um, actually, what we could probably do, I wonder, I wonder if this would work, is just to move the ceiling. Okay, it's still in the shadows. It's in the shadows! <laughs> okay, yeah, so once we've done that, and we have a nice, cool effect. My cat could be scratching at my door. No, anyways, yes. Um, we'll put that on the list of things to fix, but actually, no. You know what? No. There's a very cool fix. Okay, maybe we could just, uh, maybe we could just duplicate that, move it down, and move the angle hundred eighty negative ninety there we go move that down to about there change the intensity down to about there Go to that light and change that intensity to about there. There we go. This looks a bit cooler. Actually, this looks really cool. And then we'll give these different textures, like cooler textures. Okay, so once we've done that, um, maybe what we want to do is we want to. Oh, how much time did I use up? Seven minutes has been used up. So after that what we want to do is get an object, create other, we would want a cube. And what we want to do with this cube is we want to go here, we want to scale that up quite a bit to about there, go here, do that. It doesn't really matter if it passes through the walls because you're only going to be in this this one room. Um, and we will have multiple levels. And you want to move that down and maybe scale it up a tiny, see why it's a bit more, and over a tiny, no. That's good. And then what you want to do is control D. We'll add in some liquid in a bit. Alright, good. Perfect. So we want to take this guy and we want to move him to be, um, no, we want to move him to be up on top, like a boss. And now when we play the game, hopefully you don't fall through the floor, because in Unity if you don't do this correctly, you fall through the floor. Perfect. So, oh, um, let me get something. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a little thing in which you must jump. Great. Okay, so we have a little gap, and I think I'm going to put um, a goo here and say, if you collide, if if you collide with the goo, and your cat meows like crazy. If you can hear him in the background, I can't open my door and let him in because I'm making a tutorial. So yes, in the next tutorial, I'm going to have I think um, I'm going to have blocks that go across, and um, possibly goop. But in the next tutorial, the first thing we'll do is blocks that go across, and the next thing we're going to do is an exit. They'll move on to the next stage, and we'll, you know, just create the next stage and do that stuff. And then, possibly, we will have the goop at the bottom. So, thank you, squids, for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial. And I'm going to go let my cat in. Goodbye.